So let's go ahead and solve this equation. And um, notice that my cosine of something is kind of buried in here. So I got to do away with this adding 20 and multiplying by 4. Uh, sometimes I'll see people add these together to a 24. That's, <clears throat> that's not a good first step. That's not what's going on. So uh, let's subtract 20 from both sides. And I get a negative 3 here. Notice that's equal to 4 times cosine of all that stuff. <clears throat> now, this is 4 times cosine right here. So uh, what I'm going to do then is divide. Uh, 4 times cosine. So I'll divide both sides by 4. And notice then I end up with negative 3 fourths equals cosine of all this stuff. 2 pi over 3x minus 2.1. And so now let's resolve this cosine thing. Cosine of all this would give me that ratio. So if I think about that, negative 3 fourths is, is uh, this direction to the left. So negative 3 fourths would be something like this. So I'm looking for that angle. And I'm also going to be looking for that angle. So to get this one, I'm going to go inverse cosine of negative 3 fourths. Let me do that on my calculator. Whoops. Turn it on. So inverse cosine negative 3 fourths. I get about 2.419. Which makes sense to me. This is this is pi. That's about three. It's a little, uh, you know, three point one four. It's a little less than it, but it's more than pi over two. That's good. This is in radians. So to get this other angle, then this one that's right here. Notice that the whole rotation is two pi. So I'm going to go two pi minus that two point four uh, one nine. That two point four one nine is this angle right here, right? It's like a mirror of that. So if I go a full rotation, if I go a full rotation minus that. That'll give me this part of the rotation right here. Um, and I'm gonna, just going to do that on my calculator. Two pi minus that uh, 2.419. I get about 3.864. 3.864. Okay, great. So that means that this uh, 2 pi over 3, whatever this is, uh, must equal, and I'll say about, you know, because I've, I've done some rounding now, about uh, this, this first one, 2.419, plus that full rotation, 2 pi n. And then it also equals... This other one, 3.864 plus the period, a bunch of rotations, a bunch of coterminal angles for it. Great. So keep going from here um, to solve these. I'm going to want to multiply both sides by 3 over 2 pi. Or I could divide by 2 pi over 3, same thing. So I'm dividing the, uh, multiplying this whole thing by 3 over 2 pi. I'm doing it here too. So when I do that, um, I'm going to do that on my calculator, 3 divided by 2 pi, so 2.419 plus this one. Now if I divide this by, what was it, 3 over 2 pi? I should check that. Yeah, 3 over 2 pi. If I'm going to divide that by that, notice my use of parentheses here. Uh, parenthesis, oh no, I'm multiplying by it, sorry. Take that back, multiply by 3 over 2 pi. So times 3 divided by, but this 2 pi needs to be in parentheses. So that it's, uh, you know, 3 over 2 pi. If I just did 3 divided by 2, then times pi, the pi would be in the numerator. So I get about 1.55. plus 
the two pi's cancel here, 3n. If I do it here with a 3, 8, 6, 4, One point eight three six again the two pies cancel out, leaving me three n. So now I need to add the two point one to both sides. So add two point one be three point six five plus three n. Add the two point one. 3.936 plus 3n. Those should be uh, two of my answers.